There are a few of us who have not seen the 1988 movie Gorillas in the Mist with Sigourney Weaver. It was probably the first movie to really drive home the plight of gorillas in Central Africa as seen through the eyes of Diane Fossey, the famous gorilla environmentalist who was later murdered. Then there is Coco, the gorilla who taught us so much by using sign language to communicate. Gorillas are interesting creatures. We wanted to look at some interesting facts about them and found the best for you. Enjoy the video we created. Here are the interesting gorilla facts you never knew. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The Gorilla Hollywood has made sure the gorilla has also undergone the vilification treatment with movies like King Kong. Gorillas are, however, much less aggressive than portrayed. The global health situation has caused a massive increase in the number of snares in the gorilla habitat. In 2021, we we need to support the rangers and help local communities protect the gorillas if you are able to. Through sites like gorillas.org, you can make a difference by donating and by even adopting a gorilla. Gorillas are ground-dwelling, predominantly herbivorous great apes that inhabit the tropical forests of central sub-Saharan Africa. The genus gorilla is divided into two species, the eastern gorillas and the western gorillas, and either four or five subspecies. They are the largest living primates. The DNA of gorillas is highly similar to that of humans, from 95 to 99 percent, and they are the next closest living relatives to humans after chimpanzees and baboons. Gorillas are the largest non-human primates, reaching heights between 1.25 meters and 1.8 meters, weights between 100 to 270 kilograms, and arm spans up to 2.6 meters, depending on species and sex. They tend to live in troops, with the leader being called a silverback. The eastern gorilla is distinguished from the western by darker fur color and some other minor morphological differences. Gorillas tend to live 35 to 40 years in the wild. Gorillas' natural habitats cover tropical or subtropical forests in sub-Saharan Africa. Although their range covers a small percentage of sub-Saharan Africa, gorillas cover a wide range of elevations. The mountain gorilla inhabits the Albertine Rift montane cloud forests of the Virunga volcanoes, ranging in altitude from 2,200 to 4,300 meters, 7,200 to 14,100 feet. Lowland gorillas live in dense forests and lowland swamps and marshes as low as sea level, with western lowland gorillas living in central West African countries and eastern lowland gorillas living in the Democratic Republic of the Congo near its border with Rwanda. Despite having a population as high as 200,000 individuals, gorillas are some of the most endangered apes in the world. And and both the eastern and western gorillas are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. There are many threats to their survival, such as poaching, habitat destruction, and disease. However, conservation efforts have been successful in some areas where they live. Interesting facts. What do gorillas eat? Gorillas eat mainly plants. They eat seeds, leaves, and stems. A small portion of their diet is made up of termites and caterpillars. They do not like the taste of humans, not that they make a habit of tasting. Therefore, you are safe unless you are looking for trouble. Are gorilla families like human families? Gorilla families tend to stick together. Gorillas laugh, play, and even cry. They interact much like human families do. Young gorillas play together, usually biting and wrestling while mothers feed and groom their offspring. Babies often ride on their mother's back. Young gorillas spend a lot of time with their fathers who protect their young and even let them sleep in their nests. Researchers have seen fathers playing with their offspring just like human fathers do. Overall, gorillas are gentle and shy. How do gorillas communicate with each other? Since gorillas live in areas with lots of vegetation, vocal communication is important. Gorillas start out communicating with their mothers when they are young. Babies grunt, scream, and cry out to get their mother's attention. This helps mothers keep track of where their babies are as well as knowing what their needs are. Adults vocalize as many as eight times an hour. These noises range from quiet grunts to screaming. 
Sometimes gorillas communicate by the way they stand or by their facial expressions, just like people do. Why are gorillas becoming extinct? Gorillas are becoming extinct for a variety of reasons. One is the fact that farming and land development has destroyed their habitat. When forests are cleared, the rich vegetation that makes up a gorilla's diet disappears. Poaching, hunting animals illegally, is another cause of a decrease in the number of gorillas. Poachers shoot entire groups of gorillas to steal the babies so they can sell them to zoos. People use the fur for clothing, purses, and other things. Poachers even cut off gorillas' hands for trophies. Because of these things, there are not enough baby gorillas being born to keep the population growing. Fortunately, there are dedicated rangers around to protect gorillas, but they often fail. Fun facts about gorillas. Gorillas have five fingers and toes just like humans. Gorillas usually walk on their knuckles and rarely stand up unless threatened. Gorillas in captivity have been taught sign language and can even communicate with humans. Gorillas and humans are both primates. In fact, many scientists see a lot of similarity between humans and gorillas. Gorillas have fingerprints just like humans do. They can also be identified by their nose prints. Each one is unique. Gorillas make nests on the ground or in trees to sleep in. Each nest is only used for one night. Scientists count nests to help determine gorilla populations for a specific area. Coco the gorilla. Hanabiko, Coco, July 4th, 1971 to June 19th, 2018, was a female western lowland gorilla. Coco was born at the San Francisco Zoo and lived most of her life in Woodside, California at the Gorillas Foundation Preserve in the Santa Cruz Mountains. The name Hanabiko meaning fireworks child, is of Japanese origin and is a reference to her date of birth, the 4th of July. Coco gained public attention upon a report of her having adopted a kitten as a pet and naming him All Ball, revealing her ability to rhyme. Researchers at the Gorilla Foundation said that Coco asked for a cat for Christmas in 1983. Ron Cohn, a biologist with the foundation, explained to the Los Angeles Times that when she was given a lifelike stuffed animal, she was less than satisfied. She did not play with it and continued to sign sad. So, on her birthday in July 1984, she was able to choose a kitten from a litter of abandoned kittens. Coco selected a gray male, Manx, and named him All Ball. Penny Patterson, who had custody of Coco and who had organized the Gorilla Foundation, wrote that Coco cared for the kitten as if it were a baby gorilla. Researchers said that she tried to nurse All Ball and was very gentle and loving. In December 1984, All Ball escaped from Coco's cage and was hit and killed by a car. Later, Patterson said that when she signed to Coco that All Ball had been killed, Coco signed bad, sad, bad, and frown, cry, frown, sad, trouble. Patterson also reported later hearing Coco making a sound similar to a human weeping. In 1985, Coco was allowed to pick out two Two new kittens from a litter to be her companions. The animals she chose, which she named Lips and Smokey, were also Manxes. Coco picked the named Lips after seeing the tiny orange Manx for the first time. When her trainer asked the meaning of the name, Coco answered Lips Lipstick. The Gorilla Foundation also briefly played home to a male green-winged macaw of mysterious origin who had been found inhabiting the grounds and feeding on the locot trees. Though he was not a pet of Coco's in the same way her cat were. Initially frightened of the parrot, Coco named him Devil Tooth. Devil, presumably coming from his being mostly red, and Tooth for his fierce-looking white beak. The human staff adjusted the name to Devil Beak and ultimately to DB. To celebrate her birthday in July 2015, Coco was presented with another litter of kittens. Picking two, she named them Miss Black and Miss Gray. Her instructor and caregiver, Francine Patterson, reported that Coco had an active vocabulary of more than a thousand signs of what Patterson calls gorilla sign language, GSL. This put Coco's vocabulary at the same level as a three-year-old human. In contrast to other experiments attempting to teach sign language to non-human primates, Patterson simultaneously exposed Coco to spoken English from an early age. It was reported that Coco understood approximately 2,000 words of 
spoken English in addition to the signs. Coco's life and learning process has been described by Patterson and various collaborators in books, peer-reviewed scientific articles, and on a website. As with other great ape language experiments, the extent to which Coco mastered and demonstrated language through the use of these signs is debated. She certainly understood nouns, verbs, and adjectives, including abstract concepts like good and fake, and was able to ask simple questions. It is generally accepted that she did not use syntax or grammar grammar, and that her use of language did not exceed that of a young human child. However, she scored between 70 and 90 on various infant IQ scales, and some experts, including Mary Lee Jensvold, claim that Coco used language the same way people do. After Patterson's research with Coco was completed, the gorilla moved to a reserve in Woodside, California. At the reserve, Coco lived with another gorilla, Michael, who also learned sign language, but he died in 2000. She then lived with another male gorilla, Gorilla, Nadum, until her death. Coco's weight of 280 pounds, 127 kilograms, was higher than would be normal for a gorilla in the wild, where the average weight is approximately 150 to 200 pounds, or 70 to 90 kilograms. But the foundation stated that Coco is, like her mother, a larger framed gorilla. Coco died in her sleep during the morning of June 19, 2018, at the Gorilla Foundation's Preserve in Woodside, California, at the age of 46. The Gorilla Foundation released a statement that the impact has been profound and what she has taught us about the emotional capacity of gorillas and their cognitive abilities will continue to shape the world. Even though Coco was 46 years old when she died, her death took staff members of the Gorilla Foundation by surprise. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a comment and be sure to come back for our next offering. Until then, stay safe.